Shabbat shalom, everyone. It's a, it's a privilege to be in your living room as we bring in Shabbat and connect with our people as we have done from generation to generation and even now. Join me. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. So Shabbat Shalom, one and all. I want to read a poem to you that I recently received. It was written on March 13th, 2020 by Hasil Wen. And it's called Lockdown. <clears throat> yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her phone number throughout the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter homeless, the sick, the weary. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen behind the factory noises of your panic. The birds are singing again. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. I'd like to invite Robin Ash to come forward and bring in the lights of Shabbat. Page 120. 
Shabbat, the good angel says it will be the same way next week. But if we walk into our home and we have not really done anything to prepare for Shabbat, the bad angel says it will be the same way next week, and the good angel has to say amen. So we know the little things that we can do, bringing in a flower, putting it on the table, clearing off the table, Lighting candles, finding a sense of peace, that's how we prepare. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashare, Malachi El Yom, Imelech, Malachi Halachi Hakadosh Barahu. Shalom, 
Actually, is the first day of spring, and we pray for the lifting of all illness, and we ask for the change of cleansing to come upon our whole world. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ari Arabim Bechokma Oteach Sharim Uvidvuna Mishanei Tim Umachalit Et Hazmani. Um sader et ha kochavim, vanish merotehem raki a kirtsono. Bore yom volaima, golel or mipene choshech, the choshech mipene or. Umavir yom, umevi laila, umavdil ben yom, ume laila, adonai tsebao shumo. El chaiva kayam, tamidim loch alenu la orlam vae. Baruch ata adonai, hama ariv aravim. On page 149, praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, the evening flows. Baruch Atadonai Hama'ari Arvi. Page 150 with Ahavat Olam. We are reminded that we are loved by God. 
eternally. We continue in the English on page 157. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. Together, the high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. <clears throat> from bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. 
Over the years, there have been different prayers that have been my favorites. And for some time, and very much right now, the prayer Michamocha, which comes from the section of prayer called Geula, redemption, is the prayer. It really reminds us whatever is before us that we can get to the other side. And we have a lot before us. And it's a very, very important reminder that we can stay connected, we can stay optimistic, we can stay healthy, we can stay strong, we can stay Jewish uh, during this difficult time. Page 158. <laughs> No rata he looked, oh seven, no rata he looked, oh seven. Mahu te ha, Rahu va ne ha, Bokayam rinay, Moshe u Miriam, Zaylianu ve ameru, Adonai im loch. Adonai Loch Leolam Vahed Mi Chamocha Ba'elim Adonai Mi Chamocha Ne'edda Vakodesh No Rata Hilot Osef Ela No Rata Hilot Osef Hashkivenu, such an important prayer that we ask for safety and well-being for everyone on this planet. Hashkivenu, Adonai Eloheinu, l'shalom, l'shalom, v'hamideinu makeinu l'chayim. Shelter us beneath thy wings, O oh, Adonai. Guard us from all kinds of things, O oh, Keep us safe throughout the night Till we wake with morning's light Teach us daily wrong from right Amen
Spirit should be law, page 164. We pray as if everything depended on God, and we act as if everything depended on us. We continue on page 166. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, the Hayabati of Imoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, El Hagado, Hagibur, Hanurah, El El Yon, Gomel Chasati Tobi, the Kone Hakol, the Zocher Chasiakot, the Imahot, who made you lali, Nebene Hal, the Manshim of Yaman, Melachoser Moshia, the Majen, Baruch Ata Adonai, the Majen of Raham, the Zrat Saram, Atagi for the Lamanai, the Chaye Retima Tara Moshia, Mashiv Haruach, who Marie had Ashen, the Chakel Chayim Bachesed. So no we pray silently. <coughs> May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Ritzei Adonai Eloheinu, Ba'amecha Yisrael, U'tafilata Bi'ahava Tehabel, U'tagil Ratzon, Tami Abodat Yisrael Yisrael Amecha Baruch Atah Adonai Shautecha Levadecha
section of the tefillah concludes with prayers of gratitude. So in this very unusual time, we thank God for the blessings of what we have, and the love that we have in our hearts that continues to grow. We thank God for hope, and we thank God for this community. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai. Hatov Shimcha Lecha Una'el Lachodot. Amen. So I ask you to think right now of those who you hold so dear, who are in need of healing, as you send them love, comfort, and joy. Love 
renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, We offer a prayer for our country, and we offer a prayer for the state of Israel, we offer our prayers for the whole world. O guardian of life and liberty, on page 376, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife, and our country be sound in body and spirit. And together we say, Amen. Amen. For the state of Israel, Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, Suri Yisrael Go Alon, Barech Et Medinat Yisrael, Reshit Tzimichat Gulatenu, Hagen Alecha Ve'evrat Chostecha, Ufros Alecha Sukkat Shlomecha, Ushlach Orcha va Amitacha the Rasheha, Sarea vio Atseha, Vitaknem ve Etsa Tova mil Vanecha, Venatata Shalom Baaretz, Vesim Hatulam the Oshveha, Venomar Amen. So, dear friends, this is where we would have a Devar, and this is where our dear friend Rick Snyder our social media consultant, um, will be able to bring us a teaching from the Verano children called Gamze Yavor, This Too Shall Pass. Shabbat Shalom, CBS family. The Veranos are ready to tell you a story that we all feel has an important message for uh, us to remember, especially when things sometimes change and don't happen the way we expect them. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a very special king. Actually, some thought he was the wisest of kings, and his name was King Solomon. King Solomon had a dream one night about a magic ring, a ring so special that could change things. He woke up that morning thinking, hmm, could that really exist, a magic ring? he decided to challenge one of his ministers to see if such a ring existed. Can you find me a magical ring? Yes, your highness. The minister really loved King Solomon, so she went all over the kingdom, from village to village, looking for the magical ring. She searched far and wide, but to no avail, she could not find this very special magic ring. She was returning home to Jerusalem and found herself in a small shabby market with a merchant who was selling all kinds of interesting trinkets. And she said to herself, Do you got a magical ring? Yes, it is your lucky day. I do have a magical ring. The minister opened the box and took out the ring. She thought, this ring just looks like a common ring. But she looked at it and looked at it and realized that inside the ring, there were three Hebrew words engraved on the on the ring and the words were Gam Zeyavor 
which means this too shall pass. Her heart felt so happy. She thought this is the gift for my king, King Solomon. So she came back to the palace skipping in, in, with happy thoughts and happy feelings. And she approached the king's chamber and approached the throne and presented the ring to the king. The king opened the box. He found a plain unadorned metal ring and he thought, this is just a plain metal ring. How can it be magical? But he looked at it closely and realized that there were three Hebrew words engraved on the ring. Garm Zeyavor. Which means? This too shall pass. He thought about that for a long time and realized that that was the true magic of this special ring, those three Hebrew words. Gam ze yavor, this too shall pass. So the true magic of these words is that they teach us to be hopeful and persevere and to always know that the sun will come out again and the storm will pass that sadness will go away and that we do not need to feel fear or hopeless because everything will turn out okay. So this is the message we want to share with all of you. We all know it's been a little bit challenging, but we are so hopeful that this too shall pass and very soon we'll be all together in our beautiful sanctuary celebrating Shabbat and being uh being together shabbat shalom everybody shabbat shabbat shalom. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. we will continue because that was just brought to you <laughs> thank you rick that teaching gamze yavor it reminds us that in difficult times such as these this too shall pass we are a resilient people this too shall pass. It also reminds us to appreciate and love what we have because everything is finite and this too shall pass. So that story keeps us very present and may give you inspiration in the days ahead. We continue with Alenu on page 586 as I walk to the ark. Aleni Lisha Belafladon Hako, that he did love your celebration. Shallow a son of people in Harvard soaked, below some of the fish of Hotel Dama, shallow some of the king and them, they go running before Hamonam.
as we prepare for Kaddish, we remember our loved ones. On page 596, we read, when cherished ties are broken and the chain of love is shattered, only trust and the strength of faith can lighten the heaviness of the heart. At times, the pain of separation seems more than we can bear. But if we dwell too long on our loss, we embitter our hearts and harm ourselves and those about us. The psalmist said that in his affliction, he learned the law of God. And in truth, grief is a great teacher when it sends us back to serve and bless the living. We learn how to counsel and comfort those who, like ourselves, are bowed with sorrow. We learn when to keep silent in their presence and when a word will assure them of our love and concern. Thus, even when they are gone, the departed are with us, moving us to live as in their higher moments they themselves wish to live. We remember them now. They live in our hearts. They are an abiding blessing. We remember those who have passed within the 11 months. Phil Rosenberg, Warren Weinstock, Robert Alexander Ginsburg, Alexander Peter Kessler, Carolyn Elder, William Roachford, Sharon Liebenhout Tayevsky, Thomas Hammond, Clara Segura de Amiras, Benita Pasquel, Raquel Bienvenida Yaviv Segura, Robert Actel, Ken Rosenberg, Ilsa Spivak, Ruth Marie Anderson, Libby Marks, Robin Crosby, Dr. Robert Zeb, Sharon Cohen, Jerry Sanders, and Tim Francis. And on this Shabbat, Shabbat Vayakel Kude, we remember those who died at this season in years past and it's their yard site. With much love, we remember Lita Reed, Helen Cohan, Shirley Saroff, Rosalind Slanhoff, Sheila Korn, Max Schwartz, Susan Ralph Peters, Jean Nelson, Isidore Bud Levitt, Nancy Ann Mueller, Selma Trigger, Bernard Levine, Alice Davis, Suki Hoffman, Carmel Dolinga, Pauline Cantor Bray, Bernard Wexler, Jack Zib, Victor Friedland, Judith Backover, Harry Greenstein, Helene H. Alpern, Max Adelson, Julia Frund, Robert Fears, George Rosen. If there are any names that have not been said from this Pima, please say them at this time. Zichronam Levracha. May all their memories be a blessing. On page 598, we join together in the Kaddish prayer. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei Rabbah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich machutei v'chayi chon v'yomei chon v'chayi d'cho v'yit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen Yehei shemei Rabbah mevorach le'olam v'olmei omaya Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh Viet Adar, Viet Ale, Viet Halal, Shemei Kudusha, Brichu. La Ela Minko Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bachata, Vinechamata, Da Amiran, Vihama, Vihiru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vihayim Alenu, Vihako Yisrael, Vihiru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Mirama, Hu Yahse Shalom, Alenu, Vihako Yisrael, Vihiru, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, 
to all Israel and all the world. And together we say, Amen. Please be seated. Tonight we close with the Portuguese melody of Adonolam. It's on 643. <clears throat> no, it isn't. This is what I always ask for people. I, I, I got it. I found it. Page 625. I don't know. So, before this closing song, I want to thank Rob and Ash for lighting the candles. I want to thank Rick Snyder for putting this together. I want to thank the children who live in the Verano household, uh, who participated in the story, Gamze Yavor, and all of you for tuning in to celebrate Shabbat. Those words mean, into your hands I entrust my spirit when I sleep and when I wake. And with my spirit, my body also, Adonai is with me, and I shall not fear. Shabbat Shalom.